Hey guys, so two things. One, today was my second, my son's second day of them calling, talking about a gas leak. That's a whole nother thing. I feel like I might need to go down to the schoolhouse. <sighs> like I said, I put out a vision. Uh, and yesterday was day one, and I was thinking the only day that I would get a, a call from the school about my son, um, their school having a gas leak, <clears throat> undetected. That's why I hope, that's a whole another thing. Just pray for them, pray for the children, and um, I just feel like I have to go down there. They they say contractors are working in the area, so on and so forth. Um, I don't really care. They need to fix it. <sighs> So anyway, Sherry mentioned in one of her videos today about May 14th is the last day, uh, you know, it's the day before, you know, Israel becomes 71 years old. And I say to her, because I heard it somewhere, I, I thought I heard it. Uh, I don't know where I heard it, but I said to her, well, the, 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 the rabbis proclaimed that their Messiah, a.k.a. the Antichrist, will be here before their, their uh, elections. And, I, and that's in May, if I'm not mistaken. This is what I say to her. Someone told me it was April, though. Someone commented and said it was April 9th. So back to May, though. Um, I seen something in, in real life that reminded me of this dream. It was actually another dream that I have not posted. I had it in, in on Monday, and it has to do with Germany. Um, I don't want to digress. I want to talk about this one. I put out a dream where there was dark, blackish water coming up to a beach house. And people had their cars parked, six of them. And they knew this next wave of dark water was coming up, up on the shore. And they waited until the last second to move their cars. When they should have just left the cars and ran, but they they wait to the last second to move their cars out of, you know, this tide that was coming in that was murky black, blackish water. And they did escape. Um, I was in a beach house with someone. They opened the door and they said, you know, they showed the water, this water coming all the way up to the door, like inches away, and I shut the door. Um, and there was a fisherman in the house wearing red overalls. And, you know, carpenter looking overalls, but there were apparently fishermen overall. So I'll call them carpenter slash fisherman red overalls. And he, he, he told me um, not to use two separate piles of cut up shrimp, but to use the whole shrimp in the middle to fish. And a couple hours later, this story comes out. This was two weeks ago. So it came out the same day. Two weeks ago. Fukushima. Breaking news. Alaska suspends. King salmon fishing. And the fishing. King salmon fishing. Starts in May. May, you guys. Which is also when 
Israel will turn 71 years old. The end of the 70, 70th year. Um, so I decided, at first it answered, me seeing this, it answered why the water in my dream was murky and black. Well, it, it represented contaminated waters. And like I said, I don't, like I said in the, in the original video, I don't know which scene came first. Him showing me which water, which you know, him showing me the, the shrimp to use or the murky waters coming up. But I have a feeling that we aren't going to be able. Evil is increasing. The, the, the influence of this world over people is going to make it harder and harder for us to fish for men. In these very last days. The fact that he said may is when the fishing season was supposed to happen, but it they canceled it two weeks ago, which is, you know, he said in the 11th hour, you know, it's January. They canceled it ahead of time because of contaminated waters. Just make me, makes me think. <laughs> we are on Israel's time, you guys. Uh, the 70th year will be... Ending on May 14th, the king uh, salmon fishing will not um, go on as planned in Alaska because of contaminated waters. Makes me think about literal contaminated waters also. They've been having a lot of earthquakes in the Pacific Ring of Fire. Um... So I decided today, um, I'm in, in this video, to look up what, <laughs> someone told me to look up King Salmon, okay? And this article, what's the difference? I, I, this is just the only one I clicked on and I didn't need to see any more. Most people consider King Salmon, also known as Chinook Salmon, the finest of the wild Sp Pacific Salmon. King Salmon is also known for its high content of healthy Omega-3 oils. <laughs> Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, and the, Omega the beginning and the end. The first and the last. He was, is, and always will be. Um, and three, of course, to me, represents the Trinity. Omega-3 oils. The Holy Spirit. The anointing. And it's big taste. Look at this, y'all. A decadent item to feature at a white tablecloth candle lit dinner king salmon is about as good as it gets add a white tablecloth candle lit dinner well ain't gonna be no more king salmon fishing in alaska it just makes me wonder you know 